Welcome back. And in this video, we're going to take a look at creating parts in Roblox Studio. So parts are a foundational building block of Roblox. And these physical 3D objects are also known as bricks. So inside of Roblox Studio, I'm currently in the home section over here. And you want to go ahead and click on parts. And these are the different block options that you have. So you've got block, you've got sphere, you've got wedge, and you've got cylinder. So let's go ahead and test this out. And let's go ahead and just drag, let's go ahead and click a block which I just did. And then we're just going to drag this over here for now. So block may appear in different places. Mine happened to appear right on top of the spawn point, And then I kind of moved it to the right of the spawn point. So one of the nice things about this particular template is that the studs here are marked by the units. And so let's kind of make it a little bit bigger. Let's try to make it occupy the entire square over here. So we'll go up to scale and we'll tap that. And then now we're going to drag it and notice these different color circles appear and that gives us options to elongate or make the block higher etc here if you notice again i made the block just occupy the entire square like so so that's the scale tool so just to note the green circle which is right over here we'll move the Again, make the part go, make it kind of like taller or shorter. The red and blue circles will kind of make it go to the right or kind of make it go down like so. So different ways to kind of make the shape that you want to make it. Once you've dragged the part over, Notice that it's now been added to the Explorer under the default name of part, which is right over here. So even if you add another part, which I'll just do very quickly just to demonstrate. So again, I just dragged over another part here, just making that also a square. I'm going to make this one a little bit higher, like so. Notice... Again, on the Explorer side, we've now got two parts, and they're both named part. So, something to keep in mind is that when you're building your world, if you're going to do something special with a block, for instance, you might want to rename that part. So, to rename that part, again, go ahead and either click on the part itself, or you could click on the part right here in Explorer and then go ahead and click on Rename so you can select it and then right click on it and then click on Rename. You could also press the F2 key as well. All right, so we're going to rename this one over here to First Part. That way we can differentiate between the other part. So this is our first part over here. All right, next up, we're going to customize our part. So to customize our part, we can do it in different ways. We can click on the color up here, and we can change its color. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on color. And notice that now the brick color here is yellow. Now. Let's go ahead and try that a different way. So again, I'm going to click on the second part that we created. I'm going to, again, rename this to second part. And another way to change the color of the part, again, is to just go ahead and click on it over here underneath properties. And that'll bring it up a second way. And here I'll just make this one 
And up on the opposite side, I'll make this big red block like that. So now we've got our red block, we've got our yellow block, we've got first block and second block over there. All right, some other things we can do with our part is that we can also select the material that the part will kind of resemble. So if you click on material over here, we can change it to something else. So let's go ahead and make that a yellow metal. So notice it kind of like changed it into this kind of like kind of shiny surface here, almost kind of looking like gold, for instance. All right, now for this one, let's change the material and let's change that to brick. So notice here now that resembles brick. So different options for your parts to customize and make it resemble what you want it to resemble inside of your world.